call center is to ensure that youths have access to services. So what happens is during the COVID era, a lot of cases around GBV were going unsolved. So we decided to operate a call center whereby people would call and report cases around GBV and seek services. Remember, these services are in form of medical services, some will seek legal assistance during the COVID era. However, the main mandate of the call center was to ensure that we remove the stigma associated with service delivery, especially when it comes to youth. We all know the youth are not very much comfortable to look for services, probably in the government sector and the private sector. So the call center now bridges the gap. And you know, people don't know how to locate. Probably, you know, if someone wants SA treatment in Harare, even in Mutare, Mulawayo, we created a referral pathway whereby someone in Bulawayo can just call us and say, I'm in Bulawayo right now. Where, where's the nearest place where I can get SA treatment? Then we're working that time with PSZ and PSH. You know, say what operates in the consortium fully funded by the Swedish Embassy with uh, the help from with PSZ, PSH being part of the consortium. So what we, do, we did that time, even up to now, we would refer half of much of our clients to PSZ to PSH and they will access the services. 2022, come 2021, 2022, we, we started and initiated what is called a voucher system whereby we ensure that the youth I would go back again and say prior to the time, remember when the youth would call us, we didn't have, we just provide referrals. We didn't have funds to care for their treatment. So pr coming into 2021, we started having a system whereby we would actually pay for their treatment through the voucher system. They would get a voucher system from us and we would actually pay their, for their treatment and cover their transport, we cover their medication through the funding from the Swedish Embassy. As we have grown up to now, we've actually started also doing home visits, physical engagement, case management with our clients, whereby we've received cases around mental health, suicide, substance abuse, and we actually go to these places, conduct home visits, conduct physical counseling sessions with our clients. However, with the broad reach of the call center, we reach all over Zimbabwe. Currently, we have a grant also being funded by by, by UNICEF, which is called Children Rights and Full, with the aim to ensure that we rehabilitate the juvenile offenders, the children come to the law, we ensure that they get post child diversion services. This is actually being enrolled in two districts with Hopley and Epworth. However, we also have another area of concern which we are trying to address, also this mental health, through the use of support, support groups and other initiatives which are still trying to tailor-make to ensure that we minimize the occurrences and cases of suicide.